There was a time when we thought it was safe to seal nuclear waste in special containers and bury it in a layer of rock salt without much exposure to underground water. Even though we now know there are big problems with that, we still do not have an effective disposal solution. Most of the nuclear waste we produce is just shoved underground with no intention of ever processing it. It is like an ostrich with its head in the sand, no? There is a process which involves mixing the nuclear waste with low-grade uranium to convert it into a mixed oxide fuel for burning in light water reactors, usually in the form of glass logs. But MOX contaminates a nuclear reactor more quickly than low-grade uranium. It is also highly toxic. It is economically unfeasible unless the price of uranium is more than four times what it currently is. Not only that, you cannot ignore the danger inherent in transporting the MOX from the processing factories to the nuclear reactors. An accident could lead to radioactive contamination or the materials could be hijacked by terrorists. No, I do not think MOX could be called a viable solution to the problem of plutonium disposal. There is only one effective use for nuclear waste. Military applications. You see, after chemical reprocessing, they can separate plutonium from the nuclear waste. Nuclear weapons normally use military-grade plutonium-239 with a purity of 93 to 94%. It is made in special nuclear reactors designed for military applications. On the other hand, the plutonium in spent nuclear fuel only has a purity of about 60%. But that does not mean that spent nuclear fuel cannot be used for military applications. America has been successful in tests using weapons made from nuclear reactor grade plutonium. That means that eventually everyone will be able to make nuclear weapons from plutonium separated from spent nuclear fuel.